My name is Sean Allen, and I'm a white belt here at Gracie Baja Downers Grove, and I started training uh, about a year and a half ago. You're in here to learn jiu-jitsu and to study the belts and to study the, the techniques and get better and hopefully someday become a black belt and master it. But when you're the first guy in here like I was, you realize you're the white belt. You're the low man on the totem pole. You are the bottom of the food chain. And you realize your place in the academy. You're at the bottom. You're the guy who knows nothing but has everything to gain and nothing to lose. A lot of the champions at jiu-jitsu also surf. It's kind of like you go with whatever your partner is giving you. I mean, it's not strength against strength. That's not how it works. Where strength is irrelevant, it's just you, you go with whatever your partner is giving you. You can't fight the wave, you, you go with it. The biggest changes in, in me physically and mentally is, I guess, a sense of peace. Um, I've lost 12 pounds because of the intensity of the workouts and the dedication that I want to put towards this sport. Since I've started training jujitsu, I notice it's, it's very calming. Afterwards, it's, I feel like it's almost like a form of meditation. Every time if I'm stressed and I come here, after about an hour and a half of doing it, afterwards I feel it's a great way to start my day. For me, this place is um, a very comfortable place to be, whether it's on the mats, in the lobby, in the change room, but it's also a comfortable place to know I'm going to. My name is Kia Houston and my belt is a blue belt and I train at Gracie Baja Downers Grove in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I think just the the mental strength and knowing that, you know, any obstacle that I face, like I can accomplish it with just the perseverance and the dedication. And that's something that you get when you're on the mats and you know, you are shown a technique, you don't get it right away, and then, you know, one week later something clicks, or a month later something clicks, and then all of a sudden it's working. And then you move on to the next technique. So it's just the mental strength and the perseverance. Definitely not something that everybody thinks is gonna keep you out of trouble. And it seems like you would get into more trouble learning how to fight, but it actually calms you down more and makes it so you actually don't want to fight people that really want to fight you in situations like that and you can just kind of brush it off and just keep going because you know that it's not really that big a deal. It's just the, the air of confidence and I know that's just one thing but it it just permeates like every area of my life like even when I you know go to audition now I feel stronger I feel like I can tackle anything when I'm here on the mats if you know there's a person that's 300 pounds and I'm 125 like I'm not intimidated by them because I know I can use the technique and I know that it works. So it's just that overall confidence and that sense of empowerment. When I started, I could say uh, I probably get tired after maybe 10 minutes of uh, doing jiu-jitsu. Now I could probably uh, fight for half an hour, okay? And my heart always in tip-top shape, okay? It'll give me a better heart, okay? And better stamina. Uh, at all the time. Before I couldn't do that. When I first came to Illinois, I got a little bit depressed because it's it's very different where I came from. And um, the moment that I start to train jiu-jitsu, I sort this out. You know, uh, for sure, jiu-jitsu changed my life, and I love where am I right now and uh, what I'm doing. So jiu-jitsu make me happy. For sure, jiu-jitsu changed my life and my whole family's life too. I used to smoke cigarettes. I quit smoking two years ago. It just changed your diet. You start to think about the things that you eat. You start to think about things a little more and think about what is really good for you and you know, not go out every Friday night and Saturday night just to party with your friends and have fun. You actually sometimes go home early Friday night to be able to come to class Saturday morning and you know, jiu-jitsu is one of the things that can be a small portion of your life or it can be your life and you can change everything with it. My name is Hector Vargas. I train at Gracie Baja Donners Grove. I'm a purple belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. As a purple belt, now you, you're held to a certain standard, but through that, you're learning more. You're grasping more. You're seeing more. It's like when you're a white belt, you're, you're looking through this hole. As a blue belt, it gets a little bigger. Purple belt, a little bigger. By the time you're a black belt, you're seeing it from a wide angle. 
and and I believe in any art as you progress through that the grand masters they're seeing it through this you know so and then it comes all the way back down to the white belt I think one of the big differences here at Gracie Barra is jiu-jitsu for everyone and I strongly strongly believe in jiu-jitsu for everyone I think every single person can benefit from this and I think I'm I'm a living example the jiu-jitsu for everyone you come here and there's a place for you and the higher belts know how to treat the lower belts we get no enjoyment of you know choking out some guy that weighs you know half of what you weigh or some gal that's in here trying and it's just sort of not natural for them this jujitsu for everyone is such a tremendous concept uh, that it's really one of the big deals for me you know that makes me proud of, of being with Gracie Barra. The mental benefits that I've gained from jiu-jitsu, you know, when you've been stuck in a, a tough position or can't get out of something, um, just to know the, the technique is there or to be able to learn the technique to be able to get out of tough positions and you can transfer that over to your regular life, you know, if uh, you're in a bad spot, you know, in your life and uh, it just, everything revolves around jiu-jitsu and the aspect that you can overcome everything the biggest benefit that that I could tell that everybody could tell and that I know is actually my physical condition just the, the good health overall health because of the lifestyle that jiu-jitsu offers and shows you how to live because if you're not healthy you're not going to be able to perform to your peak potential so that's something that that's very important in the jiu-jitsu lifestyle is to actually live the time off of the mat is if you're on the mat. So that means that you do everything as best as you can, which means sleeping, eating, drinking. You have to do everything the right way. If not, you'll feel it on the mats and, and, and it really will affect your growth. So I'm a uh, professional firefighter. I work for the city of Evanston. I feel like jujitsu has helped my overall life in general, but especially work. Um, the firefighter job is a one that is uh, very taxing on the body, uh, high stress level, and finishing shift and uh, finishing a long 24 hours of work and coming here to train relieves that stress for me. You know, it's it's an able, it's a way for me to uh, talk to to all the other guys, all my friends, and just get my mind off the things that have happened within the past 24 hours. Not to mention physically. Physically, it, it keeps me in shape. Uh, it keeps me uh, healthy. Uh, it keeps me uh, ready to take on whatever it is that I might face uh, in a day's work at, at the firehouse. The biggest thing that's changed for me uh, is really hard to quantify because there's a spectrum. There's a spectrum for me uh, physically, you know, mentally, emotionally, uh, with my family life. Uh, and I think, uh, although it's hard to it's hard to know for sure, I think in my professional life as well, I lost uh, 30 pounds. I'm at the weight. I played baseball in college. I had a little bit of a cholesterol problem that's completely gone. Uh, we eat organic. I mean, I can't even believe it. it's almost like a, a, a joke. Again, it's, it's the feeling for me after, you know, and being here and seeing friends and like this whole new life. Uh, that we have here. Jiu-Jitsu for me is, is like they call it, they call it the gentle art and at this stage in my life I'm not trying to go out and prove I'm the toughest guy or the baddest guy. You know, I'm about uh, improving myself, my way of life and making my Jiu-Jitsu better. My name is Dave. I'm a brown belt at Gracie Baja Downers Grove. If anybody comes in who's, who's serious about learning jiu-jitsu, who plans to stick with jiu-jitsu, just inherently in um, the, the process of training, some things are gonna change. Like for instance, if somebody comes in and they're a heavy smoker or something, they're gonna learn pretty quickly that, you know, um, you really need to have cardiovascular to be able to train, so they're gonna stop smoking, right? Or if somebody comes in who um, uh, has a very poor diet, you know, and eats at McDonald's every day. Um, they're going to learn pretty quickly when it comes time to actually spar or roll or train in class that that type of diet makes you sick, it makes you overweight, um, and naturally they're going to 
maybe start changing their diet as far as that goes. Um, obviously, being in shape and you know um, strong and solid and everything are, are good. You know, those are great benefits. Before I started training jujitsu, I was you know kind of like. Uh, a guy who maybe had a chip on my shoulder, you know, due to my size and everything. Um, so I would be the guy looking for who's going to make comments about that and things like that, you know, and had altercations or fights when I was younger, younger adulthood. And, um, you know, I'm not proud of that type of stuff or anything like that, but my mentality now, I'm a much more calm, confident person. I don't have, I'm very comfortable with who I am, what uh, my capabilities are, and, um, um, Jiu-Jitsu as a whole is kind of what defines me or, or centers me as a person. It's typically you get to try out a class for free, get to see if you like it. Trust me, you're never going to be thrown into a situation where you're going to enter onto the mats and have to fight somebody your first day of class or anything like that. I just say to come in and try one lesson. Try one lesson and, and you'll be sold. You know, uh, at least I was. You know, Jiu-Jitsu uh, opened eyes and doors for me and uh, I can't get that across enough. So if anybody's on the fence, I would suggest come in and try a class. I would tell those people, just go for it. The people that are thinking whether they want to do it or whether they don't, just jump into it and see if you like it. I think I would just say give it a try, and then give it a try again, and then six months later when you're here, you'll be like, that was the best thing that I ever did. So come in and try it and you know, don't give up on it and see how far you are in six months and then see how far you are again in a year and look at how your life has changed. You'll, you'll totally be amazed by it. This is more than just jujitsu. This is about life here at the school. And for me, it's about training and brotherhood and friendships, but it's also about the other things that people don't realize that jujitsu gives you by being here at the school. You can change your life through jujitsu. There's so many different ways that it can help you out the potential for growth is endless and if I'm able to do it, anybody can do it and change is possible. Take a chance and experience the change here at Gracie Baja Downs Grove.